Hello my friends and welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy video here on the channel. Today I wanted to show you guys full gameplay of all three battle arenas in Hogwarts Legacy. Now, technically the third one is a pre-order bonus, so if you didn't pre-order the game, you probably don't have access to it. And that's actually the one you're seeing on screen right now. And this is just for the introduction. I'll show you guys the whole entire gameplay. But basically, there's multiple waves of enemies that you have to defeat and you get a bunch of XP. This honestly might be the best XP farming method out there i would actually recommend that you just put the game down to story difficulty to go into these uh if you want to make it a little bit easier but anyways i'll maybe talk about that in a different video but for this video i just wanted to show you guys unfiltered gameplay of every single battle arena because first of all you need to do the first two so the ones that are not the pre-order ones so this is the pre-order one it's the dark uh dark arts arena or whatever it's called um, the other two you need to do for a trophy or achievement. So if you're trying to get, you know, all the trophies, or all the achievements, you're gonna have to get that done. So I'm gonna show you guys the locations, gonna show you guys full gameplay. Uh, there's gonna be chapters in the uh, video. So if you guys just wanna kind of skip ahead to whatever one you wanna see, uh, then feel free to do that. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So look, without further ado, my friends, let's jump into this. All right, so for the first one, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys exactly where the location is. I don't remember the names off, off the top of my head, it might be in the chapters or whatever, but going from Hogwarts, we're gonna go all the way north. So we're going past Hogsmeade even, we're going all the way north to this kind of like little section here where the river is, uh, where you see my uh, marker. We're going to the East North Ford Bog uh, flame there. So go over to that flame, that's the closest one, if you have it. Um, if you don't have it, then of course, you know, obviously, you won't have it. There's a skeleton uh, kind of, uh, I guess it's a dragon skeleton, I don't know. And you're going to these ruins right here. So when you get here, there's going to be some vases that you're going to have to destroy. There's going to be 20 in total. As per usual, if you use Revelio, you can see where most of them are through the walls. So just go ahead and destroy all 20. And uh, once you get all 20 destroyed, you're going to be able to enter into the, uh, the arena. So again, for sake of consistency, to help you guys out, I'm going to show you guys every single location of all these vases. I'm not cutting anything so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, where everything is, so you know exactly how to do it. Again, it's very Revelio. easy to find yourself. You just use Revelio, but if for some reason, like I said, there's always people out there that, you know, might need a little bit of extra help, and that's okay, and that's why I make these videos a little bit more thorough. Sometimes people say, like, hey, can't your videos be, like, two minutes? I mean, they could if I want to be super, super lazy, and then, you know, there's going to be a fraction of people that might still be left scratching their head. So that's why I do videos like this where, you know, people that don't need all this information, you can just scrub a little bit head through, and people that do need it, this information, well, hey, it's, it's at least there. It's better to have more information then no information and all that stuff. So um, again, you can see there's a couple of them that are tucked away kind of like behind the ruins a little bit. And uh, you'll know when you've completed them because once you've hit all 20, there's gonna be a little bit of a cutscene. You can see that the location is right in the middle. It's a statue that's impossible to miss and all three battle arenas look the exact same. So again, if you wanna make this a little bit easier, I suggest going into your menu. You can put it down to story mode if you just want the XP. It doesn't, it doesn't change anything really really uh the uh the difficulty is easier but the um the you know the experience points is pretty much the same so you're not losing anything by doing that if you want to uh it didn't make i don't think it made like a massive massive difference but it was definitely a little bit easier uh, enemies still scale so no matter what difficulty you're on story or easy or normal or whatever the enemy levels will scale so just keep that in mind anyways i'm not going to commentate through this entire thing all i'm going to say is that uh, you know, try to be, uh, I guess, a little bit creative with the, your use of your spells, right? Uh, obviously, the more spells you unlock, the better. You can do this super early game, obviously, if you want to. Uh, but, if, you know, if you're a little bit later and you've learned a bunch of spells, then you can kind of mix it up. So keep in mind, you're obviously going to see minor spoilers. Uh, if you consider sp spells spoilers, and click ahead. Uh, I probably should have warned you a little bit in advance. Uh, but, again, these are some of the more maybe basic spells. I don't know. I'm not sure which spells people are going to find spoilery or not. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing my best here. It's a very uh, fickle kind of situation. So this one's going to be mostly like uh, just, you know, human enemies, uh, you know, wizards and witches uh, and spiders and wolves and things like that. I think in the later in the later rounds you get some, uh, some what you call it, um, some trolls thrown at you as well. So, anyways, just kind of go through it. You can, you can see how I do it personally. If you want to see the entire gameplay, feel free to watch it. If you want to see the next part where the next location is, feel free to skip ahead. That's why the chapters are going to be in the description. Anyways, I'm going to stop commentating for now, and I'll uh, come back uh, at you guys when we go to the second location. I'll let you guys watch the rest of this uh, without my, my annoying commentary over it. I should never have come in. Accio. Defender. I'm going to 
bombard them. Protego. Expelliarm. Confringo.
All right, so number two, we're going to be going to the very bottom left of the map to the Feldcroft Catacomb. You're going to go to where my marker is right here. Again, this is the very bottom left of the map. So it's like southwest, right? As far southwest as you can go. You can go way more kind of in the southern area. But if you go more southern, it's more like southeast east so don't go that way it's like completely southwest uh you're gonna go towards Castle. these kind of ruins again i got a little bit lost Satan for a sky. second here there are uh, a couple enemies uh right here that you're going to uh kill but i'm uh, i'm gonna cut a little bit ahead after i defeated them because uh, again i got a little bit lost so going from these ruins where you just seen me at right here i'm actually gonna fly further down uh, and further down, you can see this is the location that we're going to be going to. And you, again, you can see the, the vases, and you can see I actually didn't even notice this when I was recording and, and playing. There's a counter at the top right corner. Uh, I didn't even know that. So now you know that. <clears throat> but that's uh, pretty cool. So again, these were uh, this is where all the vases are going to be. And again, this is going to be, if you don't have the pre-order bonus, this is going to be the final and, and last uh, arena that you're going to do. And this, honestly, if you're either way, whether you have the third arena or not, if you're going for the trophy and for the achievement, uh, once you complete this battle arena, you're going to get the trophy um, slash achievement. So uh, again, you don't need to do the you know, pre-order bonus one for that. The pre-order bonus one is cool because you get to try all the dark arts, all the dark uh, magic, the dark spells, if you will, right? So um, <clears throat> that's pretty cool because, again, you can do that, you know, long before you ever actually are able to acquire them. So um, it's pretty cool. So you're going to see some gameplay about, uh, on, on those spells as well, if that interests you. Anyways, once you get the 20th vase there, uh, again, the statue is going to open up. You're going to walk up to it. You're going to interact with it. You're going to go in and you're going to fight another, uh, you know, few waves of enemies. I don't remember. I think they're all like five waves. I, I actually, that's one thing I, I wasn't paying attention to. I was just fighting, 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 and that was it. Uh, again, it's kind of a nice little way if you want to, you know, grind a little bit of XP. Because, again, you know, XP can help, you know, unlock talent points and things like that. Again, maybe I'll make a shorter video talking about that for anyone who uh, may want to uh, know about, you know, the fastest way to grind XP anyways. But if you're watching this, you probably already know it. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. So you're going to see a lot of trolls, especially armor trolls. These things can be very, very tough. I suggest keeping a lot of your ancient magic uh, abilities uh, for them specifically. Try to use, uh, you know, anything that you possibly can to take them down. There's a lot of explosive barrels around. Uh, different things like that. Uh, I, I usually save those for, for these guys, um, you know, whenever I can. Uh, again, keep in mind if it throws boulders at you and you block it with, uh, with you know, uh, your protection, that you can... I, I don't know if it's a talent, actually. It might be a talent ability where you can then you sling the boulder back at the, uh, at the troll. I'm not sure. Anyways, as per usual, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this. Again, this one is a little bit tougher than the first one. Obviously, this is the second one. Uh, so, you know, the, the difficulty is going to be increased a little bit. But like I said, if you want to just get it done easy, just put it in story mode. It doesn't make it way, way, way easier, I'll be honest. Um, you know, it's it's easier from what I could tell, but it's not massively easier. Again, may, maybe, I don't know, maybe I, I'm just crazy. I could just be crazy, you know, that's very possible. Anyways, I'll let you guys watch the rest of this one, and then I'll show you guys where the third and final one is, which again is going to be the pre-order bonus. Uh, the Dark Arts Battle Arena, or whatever it's called. Um, and I'll show you where that location is. And we can check out some gameplay for that one as well. So, if you want to see the rest of this and how I go through this, uh, feel free to watch the rest of this. If not, feel free to skip ahead. Confringo! 
All right, so congrats, you got your trophy slash achievement, but if you want to go for that third one, if you did get the pre-order bonus, then this is where it's going to be located if you want to try those dark spells, it's a lot of fun. Going north from Hogwarts, we're going to be going over to the East North Hogwarts region uh, flame, and it's like literally right, right, right beside it. Uh, you can see where, where it is on the map. So I'm going from that flame location. Uh, ignore the fact that my marker shows like it's way further. Um, Apparently, I messed up. My marker was put somewhere else, which is why I got confused. There's a couple enemies here you're going to have to take out really quick first. I don't know what I was doing. I accidentally got on my broom again. Uh, just one of those days. You know, one of those days. Go ahead and defeat the enemies, and uh, then you're going to have to get the vases again. But here's the crazy thing. Unlike the first two, you don't need 20. There's only 10 this time. So you only got, got to destroy half the amount. I actually thought it was eight. I was counting eight in my head. Because, again, I didn't see the little counter at the top right corner there when I was playing for some reason. Um, so I counted eight, uh, not realizing that I destroyed two when I was fighting those enemies. So, again, there's some up high on the cliffs as well. So keep, uh, keep an eye out for those. And uh, you can go ahead and enter it. And, again, this is pretty cool. Uh, so unlike the other two, the other two you got basically all your spells, your own spells. This one... You don't got any of your own spells. You're going in with preset spells. So you're going to have all three of the dark spells, um, which I'm trying to blank on all of them. But uh, anyways, there's um, they're, they're pretty great. They're pretty great. And then you're getting, uh, again, I forget the name, but the explosive one. You can see it on the bottom right corner of my uh, screen on the, on, the, on the left side of it. Um, I think it's like it starts with a C or something. Anyways, by the way, that one one-shots. I mean, if you want to go dark, as dark as Voldemort, I mean, you know, that's that's pretty dark, okay? If you want to go as dark as him in the Death Eaters, I mean, I guess I'm kind of dressed like a Death Eater, almost. A very stylish Death Eater from the 1800s, but still. Um, <laughs> nonetheless, these, these are great, but they take a very long time to charge, and that's the thing that's going to work against you in this one is that they take a long time to charge and one of them i can't remember which one it is anymore one of them all it does is curse them uh but it curses them it doesn't do any damage to them but it curses them in a way where they they work on your side for a temper uh, a, a short kind of temporary period of time um which is really nice because then you get uh you know they're not super op but you get an ally you know even even though it's forcefully with some dark magic i mean you know Anyways, um, so like like always, just mix up things, throw stuff, use your uh, your ancient magic, use your dark magic. Oh man, it's so cool every single time. That's so cool. It's pretty dark though. You think there'd be consequences for you, you know, wielding such a magic, but apparently not. Anyways, all that to say, uh, I'll let you guys watch the rest of this, and uh, I'll catch back up with you guys at the very very end to uh, conclude this video.
Can bring them. You're making this too easy. Of course. Trick 
on Ranrock's hands. All right, so what'd you guys think of those three battle arenas? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's a very lengthy video because I'm showing you guys the entire gameplay. But again, you don't have to obviously watch the entire thing. I wanted to include all the gameplay so you guys can see exactly what the waves, uh, what to expect from each wave and all that good stuff. And uh, still have, you know, like I said, in chapter format uh, structure that would, uh, you know, be accessible to anyone who just wants quick information as well to see, okay, where, where are these locations? That's all I want to know. So it's good for kind of both audiences, if you will. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, if you did, be sure to stick around for more. Leave a like. really helps out the channel. Let lets YouTube know that you guys actually enjoy the content. If you don't like, it's completely, completely fine as well. But do let me know what uh, you dislike so I can in, uh, improve, excuse me, the content in the future. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay well. Have fun in Hogwarts Legacy. And I'll catch you guys soon in another one. Tell them, my friends. Game on. I'll see you guys later.